What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Uh, as you guys can see, you know, it's a little rainy out today. I think I'm still gonna go for a ride though and film this video for you guys and uh, talk to you guys about life and uh, hopefully make it interesting for you guys. Um, we're doing great. You guys are killing it. Uh, we're at 870 subscribers, so 30 more for 900. So uh, yeah. Um, obviously, we got we got one hateful comment recently, which maybe I'll put right here, maybe not. It's crazy, man. How do you hate? How did you hate on somebody who's trying to chase a dream out here? But uh, I love you guys, and uh, let's kill it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Road to 1K, baby, and uh, let's get it. Road to 1K, baby, let's go! What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's definitely raining right now where I'm at, but uh, I'm dedicated. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to film these videos for you. I don't give a fuck what the weather looks like. You know what I'm saying? It could be thunder and lightning outside. My ass still going to be on this bike. This is my throttle therapy right here. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have a bike, definitely recommend you get one because they're awesome. <laughs> but yeah, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Comment down below. You already know. Help the algorithm. Turn on your post notifications as well. So uh, you can be notified every time I drop a video. But if you're new, I always start off with some motivation. And here's this. If there's one thing that you guys take away from my videos, you know, I post a lot of videos every day, but if there's one thing that you take away from my videos, I hope it's this, to never give up. Life will literally kick your ass. It will literally, you know, oh, you got cheated on by your girlfriend? Ah, keep fighting. Oh, you lost your job? Keep fighting. All this shit happens in life and you just gotta keep fighting. And if there's one thing I hope you take away from my videos, it's that. Life is never going to be easy, but you don't fail, you quit. That's the only way you lose. You know what I'm saying? Losing is not losing, it's learning. And uh, every day is a new day, a new restart. So go fucking make it happen. Don't give up on yourself. Whatever you do, do not give up on yourself. That's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, tomorrow could be that day that changes your life forever. So yeah, keep grinding, keep fighting, keep pushing. And never give up. I love you guys. And uh, got some good questions for you guys. Good talking topics for you guys. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you guys on the road. Alright guys. I'm at the gas station right now. Filling up my bike. And uh, yeah. It's definitely a little rainy outside today. Wow that was quick. See. Damn but gas prices going up. Look 667. 667 to fill this tank up. It's not a lot but more than it used to be. That's for sure. <laughs> But yeah, guys, one thing I want to say while I'm here before I start riding is uh, if you want to be different, don't be a hater. If you want to be different, be a winner. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody hates. So you're not going to be different. Everybody hates. So don't be a fucking hater. Be a winner. All right? There's my little little uh, motivational speech real quick. <laughs> but I love you guys. I'm ready, for, I'm ready for this ride. It's a little rainy today. But like I said, I am determined to get these videos for you guys. So, yeah. Super hyped. I'm getting gear later this week, which I'm excited about. It's finally going to have some gear. Not just me rocking, you know, hoodie and jeans or whatever I'm wearing. But, yeah, I'm excited. So, yeah, I'm going to take you guys for this ride and uh, talk about life. So let's get it baby, road to one, 1k. one Alright guys, hope you're having a great day. Welcome back. I'm about to take you guys for a little ride today. It's a little rainy like I said, but honestly, look, y'all ever went swimming before? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you guys ain't scared of a little rain. So if you got a bike, 
Why are you afraid to go ride out in the rain? I know it's a little slippery and slippery and stuff, but like, hey. Besides that, yo, we chilling out here. You know what I'm saying? A little rain ain't gonna hurt you. So I take my bike out, rain to shine. Because one, this is the only form of transportation I have. <laughs> so I don't really have a choice. But even if I did, I don't know. I, I kind of like riding in all different types of weather. But yeah, what's your least? I mean, I've never. I'm, I'm probably not gonna ride my bike if it's like a blizzard outside. And like the, the roads are slippery and shit because at that point I'm just asking to die if I do that. You know what I'm saying? One bad slip and boom! Hit a semi. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But anyway guys, like I said, hope you're having a great day. What's today? Monday. Hope you, uh, if you got work today, I hope you kill it at work. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just gotta grind out here, boys. It's all about the grind. You know what I'm saying? You're never gonna feel like it. You gotta get up and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work until your dreams are reality. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work. I think it was uh, Dana White that said this. Is that you gotta work until you don't even wanna go to bed because your real life is better than your dreams. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you gotta work towards. So right now, look, I'm very far away from my goals. But at the same time as I'm getting closer to them, and I can understand that statement. Because I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I have trouble going to bed at night. Because I'm just so excited about everything that's going on. And I'm so hungry. I'm so ready to make this content and to keep growing. You know what I'm saying? To chase my dreams. So I hope you guys can have that mindset. Work so your real life is better than your dreams. Alright? But yeah. I got some good questions for you today. I'm just gonna start it off. And I was thinking about the other day, right? Because it's been such a struggle. I used to sleep in my car for over a year. Been broke as hell for so long. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I don't know. But I was just thinking, right? If you're broke, what is your go-to food to eat when you're broke? You know what I'm saying? Some people it's ramen. Some people it's hot dogs. Some people it's fucking tuna. I don't know what it is, but what's your go-to? Because me, Yo, when I, okay, when I was broke and I had like no money, there's two things that I would eat all the time. One, I'd eat a shit ton of ramen because that shit's so cheap and it's so good. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people eat ramen, so I'm not going to be surprised if a lot of y'all's answer is ramen. Another thing I used to eat is I used to cut up potatoes, put them in the oven, season them, and literally eat that. That's literally it. They tasted good. I mean, sometimes I put an avocado on them and shit. But besides that, I was just eating potatoes all the time. It was so cheap, but it tasted good and it filled me up. So hey, that's all you can ask for. But what's your go-to food when you're broke? That's one question I had. That was pretty interesting. I was like, yo, ah, it takes me back. It takes me back to the, not the good old days, but you know, it was part of the journey. So I respect it, you know what I'm saying? It was part of the journey and uh, I'm glad it happened because if not, I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And, I'm pretty happy with the person I am today. So, you know, still room for growth, still room for improvement. That's life. You always try to get better, but at the same time, I'm grateful for everything that happened and I'm grateful for how much I've grown so far in my life. So that's one question for you guys. Another question I had is this. Let me go before so I don't crash. <laughs> but another question I had is this, all right? You're the main character in a movie, all right? You're the main character in a movie you're about to die. What are your famous last words? All right, you guys get to decide. You're, you're a movie character. It's like, how do you want the world to remember you? You know what I'm saying? You're a movie character. Do you want them to remember you from something badass at the end of the movie? Be like, all right. So I'm trying to get in the mindset. All right, I'm a main character in a movie. I'm about to die. I'll be like, you'll see me again, motherfuckers. I'm just playing. I, I don't know. Yo, what would your famous last words be as a movie character? You know what I'm saying? What would it be? <laughs> I'm sure y'all going to have at it in the comments. This is, these are going to be funny for sure. But some of them will be badass. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that's funny. By the way, uh, there's an ice cream place up here. And I always pass it. I'm like, wow, that's pretty packed. It's summertime. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, yeah, it's a little warmer. But I feel like this place is never packed like that. And lately... Yo, it's still packed and it's raining outside. Are people... No, that's a different business. I was about to say, yo, are people still going to eat ice cream when it rains outside? Like, damn. Ice cream with a, sprink a sprinkle of water on the top? Is that how they do it nowadays? I don't know. I don't know. But... 
Let's see, what's another question I have for you guys? I had a whole list this time because I was like, you know what? I just want to think of so many questions. Different questions I could ask for you guys to get you guys thinking, get your brains moving. If you, it's me, it's still morning time, so I'm still trying to get myself to think. You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to get myself to think. But, whew, it does feel kind of good out today. Like I said, I like the cold a little better. Then my glove is, my thing is off on my glove. I need to strap it back on. It feel a little weird, feel a little loose right now. You know what I'm saying? Which, eventually I'm gonna start getting new gloves as well, because these are built gloves, great beginner gloves. But these are not great for touching your phone if you need to like change a song or whatever you gotta do. These are not the one. You know what I'm saying? So I need to some, find some better gloves. Something that I can actually do that shit for. Because when I get a car though, I'm gonna be jamming out the music all the time. And you know, I joked about this on Instagram Live, but I think I might, you know, maybe have a little karaoke series for you guys in the reels on Instagram where I'm playing music in my ear and I'm singing along to it, you know, having a good old time while we're riding. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be pretty funny. What do you guys think about that? You think I should do that for uh, some reels on Instagram? I haven't been posting as many shorts on YouTube because, I don't know, I feel like YouTube is more long form content. And uh, I feel like if you subscribe to me because you watch a reel, you're not likely to stick around on my channel. So that's just my logic. I don't know. A lot of those people, they just like short term content, you know? This is the elementary school I used to go to, guys. Voila, you know what I'm saying? Takes me back to the day when I was like five, six, seven years old. That's why I got bullied on the playground over there, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you guys that bullied me. Yeah, I remember who you are. Yeah, look at me now, bitch. I'm 6'2", 255 pounds. If you want to throw some hands, we can throw some hands. Fuck the bullies. If you're a bully, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I don't like bullies, you know what I'm saying? But if you start something, I will finish it. I will tell you that. If you start something, I will finish it. Mark those words. But yeah, the roads are not that packed today because there's not that many people. Shocker, because it's raining. But, I mean, people still got to get to work and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But, I mean, it's packed over here. A lot of different cars. But, right, I might stop real quick, strap my glove back on. Because it's kind of annoying me. <sighs> so, let me see. Let me get these gloves. I need to... These gloves actually ripped before us. So I, I had to sew them. Well, I had my mom sew them back together for me. And uh, they do work a lot better now. They're definitely getting ribbed. I don't really know why. I think from me, like, putting them on, I, like, strap them on a little too hard sometimes. And, uh, I don't know. I just fucked it up a little bit. But, all right, let me stop right here. Don't have to fill up gas. I know that's got a yellow bag on it. All right, strap this glove. See, way better now. Feels way tighter. This one's a little broken over here. You gotta strap this on too. I'm eventually have to fix that, sew it up a little bit too. Real quick, before I get on the road, I, I did think of a question, and I'm just kind of curious because I never really asked you guys. I know a lot of people ask their followers, but like, comment your city down below. I'm really curious to know where everybody's from. Um, and maybe, hey, maybe you can make some friends in the comments from people that live in the same places. You, re you never really know. So yeah, just comment your city down below and uh, have at it. I'm, I'm going to read these comments and see where all y'all support us from. You know what I'm saying? Because when I do my lives, I see some of y'all from Australia, New Zealand, different places in the United States, everywhere. So just comment your city. I'm curious to know where you're from. All right, y'all. Back on the road. Fix my gloves. And uh, yeah, we're back at it. I did see another biker earlier that I waved to. I'm trying to get to know some bikers in my area. I need to, need to know more bikers. You know what I'm saying? I consider myself like a solo rider kind of guy, but you know, every every now and then I will ride in a group just because, you know, it's nice to make some friends and stuff. I don't know, I just like riding by myself. It's relaxing, it's chill. I ain't gotta, you know, stress or worry about nothing or be riding like crazy either, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a chill kind of rider, which a lot of y'all said you like that, you know? Like I said, every now and then I do have my fun, go for a little top speed run on the highway, you know what I'm saying? But besides that, I like to ride safe because I'm trying to ride for a long time. But anyway, guys, another question I had, and this is a little controversial. Please don't hate me for saying this, but would you guys rather be deaf or blind if you had to choose one? You know what I'm saying? I had deaf friends. I don't have any blind friends, but I, I do know some people that are deaf that I'm cool with. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if I had to choose personally, I think I would be deaf because, uh, you know, some of y'all make me want to be deaf anyways because... Some of the people on Instagram I see, 
and uh, you know just people that be yapping about the most random shit sometimes I feel like I want to be deaf so I don't have to hear that shit but I couldn't imagine ever being in a world where I couldn't see the beauties that are around you you know what I'm saying mother nature is something beautiful if you look around you see the trees you see the stars you see the sky you see everything in life and it's so beautiful and I couldn't imagine living in a world where I couldn't see any of that you know what I'm saying so what about you guys would you rather be blind or would you rather be deaf? And no hate to anybody by saying that, you know what I'm saying? Because I know most of y'all motherfuckers that are watching this video, you're not blind and you're not deaf because you are watching this video. Or you're listening to it. You know what I'm saying? One of the two. So, <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments. That was one other question I had. Another question I had, and I was thinking about this. Because y'all see me be getting, I be getting soda at McDonald's all the time. And, uh, not all the time. But I do get it every now and then. It's like a craving of mine. Every now and then I do have it. You know what I'm saying? But what is your go-to fast food place? If you had to choose one. I mean, I know y'all live in different areas. So there's different fast food places around you. Oh, shit. I just accidentally turned my high beams on. But, uh, yeah. What's your favorite fast food place? I think mine, you know, I think it used to be like... It used to be like Taco Bell or something. Because Taco Bell used to hit low-key back in the day. I haven't eaten Taco Bell in a minute now. My go-to is McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. It's just something be hitting about McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? I went to Wendy's before. That shit kind of slacking. I don't know. Maybe it's just the Wendy's I went to. That food don't taste as good anymore. Burger King. Burger King's all right. You know what I'm saying? I actually used to work there. But nah. I'm choosing McDonald's at the end of the day. Because I, I don't know. I like the environment. I like the food. And uh, it's just my go-to fast food place. What about you guys? What's your go-to fast food place? Drop it in the comments. You already know. You know what I'm saying? Have at it. I've been getting quite a lot of comments. And it's kind of funny to see y'all interact in the comment section as well. Because, I don't know. Y'all be roasting each other. I, I, I looked on my Instagram the other day. I kept getting tagged by these two people. I don't even know who they were. And they were just going at it, roasting each other about the profile pictures and all this good stuff. And I'm like, damn, y'all really going at it in my comment section. I, I just grabbed some popcorn and I was chilling just listening to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just play it, but that shit's wild. So, hey, if y'all got any beef and you need a handle in my comment section, I guess go for it. But, yeah, just know I'm getting all those notifications and I'm seeing most of that shit. So, it's kind of funny. But, yeah. Some, some dude was roasting some dude about like his football career and all this sh I don't know. And then some girl, some dude was saying this guy's girlfriend looks like a fucking troll or something. I don't know. Y'all are roasting each other like crazy in the comment section. So I don't know. Crazy, crazy world we live in. Crazy world. <laughs> but I do love you guys. Just want to come on here, talk a little bit to you guys. Hope you have a great day. And uh, starting to dry up a little bit around here. But just want to come on and say hi. Say I love you guys. Say keep grinding, keep working for your dreams, make them happen. As I'm making mine happen right now. We're just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. But I love you guys. Thank you for always staying tuned. Click the subscribe button. Road to 1K, baby. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.